Alright guys, I'm back. Um and today I have great news for you guys. Today I'm here to basically talk about my little brother. He's about to win five grand from CBS College um the NFL game pick'em. Last week I kinda messed up. Last week I got I got two games wrong. Um but the thing was that I, I had put in my real things, my real picks and predictions on ESPNs, and ESPN has a bunch of cheaters, because there's no way that people should be getting them right on ESPN consistently. I think ESPN has like a huge amount of cheaters, but I'm never using ESPN again because those people cheat their ass off. But yeah, um, so I... I actually ended up getting four wrong on my CBS pick because I, I I was just doing it on ESPN. But this week I actually did do it on CBS. And let me just read you my picks. This week the only reason I got three wrong was a for the Miami and Buffalo game, which was a Thursday night game. I didn't I hadn't even made my pick because I was in school the whole time and I forgot about it. So. I got that game wrong without because I didn't pick it. And Philadelphia, I just wanted to believe. I knew they wouldn't win. I just wanted to believe. And San Diego, I just wanted to believe. I knew they wouldn't win. So those are the only three games that I got wrong this week. I, I, I guess Dallas, Jets, Tampa, Atlanta, Houston, Cincinnati, Green Bay, New Orleans, New England and Baltimore. The Baltimore game was really easy because if you if you know anything about the Baltimore Pittsburgh rivalry, you will know that Baltimore usually beats the Pit usually beats the Pittsburgh Steelers in the regular season, but Baltimore sucks ass when it comes to the playoffs. They are some underachieving bums and you would be you would be stupid to to pick Baltimore over the Steelers in the playoffs. I don't I don't know why, but the Steelers always get it done. I I live in Baltimore, so everyone who thinks that the that the Ravens can beat the Steelers, they are really stupid. And I'm I, and I'm a Ravens fan, so that's telling you a lot. But there's a there's always a chance. I don't believe it. But yeah, so far my brother's gotten all of them right. And on CVS, they give you five. They give the um, person who predicts the most amount of games right, which he's perfect right now, five grand. Can you believe that? Five grand. That's that's what they give you weekly. The weekly winner. ESPN they give the overall winner, which I think is bull, because a lot of people cheat. They give you, they give the winner at the end of the season, which is, that's not even money, really. Five grand, so CBS, obviously better. He, he got the Miami and Buffalo game, which is really easy. Today's a really easy week, surprisingly. He's got Philly right, and he got San Diego right. Right now, he chose Chicago, just like me. All the, all the CBS analysts chose San Fran. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. I mean, all the CBS people chose St. Louis over the Jets, and I chose the Jets. He he was smart enough to pick the Jets too. So the CBS people aren't always right. They're 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 usually right, but they're not always right. This week I was ten and four. Wait, no, no, no. CBS hasn't updated it. So I can't really tell you guys what my record is. It's not been updated. But yeah. Things are about to get interesting. Well, like, add, comment, subscribe. This is Henry1502 Inc. I'm out.